Uh, Scissor, I agree, man. Honchkur should definitely have a gender difference, but what would that gender difference be? I mean, because you can't really do it with the hat. That's kind of weird. Maybe you could make it some... Um, it, it's got kind of a, a... a rough, like a... I don't know, it's chest feathers. You can make those bigger or smaller or longer or what have you. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't make a panda bear into a rug. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna have international sanctions placed against you if you do that. I love how this Murkrow is only calling once every ten turns. Or only not calling once every ten turns. So that I can get uh, a gosh darn Lepaberry going. It's almost perfect. It's like the AI knows this. Hey, that was quick. Okay. Y'all, right here. Female, shiny Murkrow, 26 encounters. That is insane, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Uh, Y'all, didn't somebody say this was going to happen in 25 encounters? I swear somebody said that. This is insane. Uh, I decided to, guys, uh, hunt the shiny Murkrow via SOS in Pokemon Sun and Moon, where it is way more difficult uh, than Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, except... And Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, you have to hunt it at night. Here, I can hunt it during the day, and it's just way, way better. And as a female, so I'm doing this for my shiny form decks. I need a male and a female. A female has got a shorter hat. The male has a longer hat. Um, but it's really nice to have this female. So I'm going to go ahead and KO this Murkrow over on the right. And we can try to capture this thing. Which is so, so good. Oh my goodness, it can taunt me. That's okay. Uh, I'm using Weavile here because Weavile is uh, resistant to all of Murkra's dark type attacks. And um, it also has access to super effective moves. In uh, this case, I used Ice Beam, but you can use pretty much whatever. Uh, and it uh, has False Swipe and everything. So it's really the perfect Pokemon to use on this hunt. Is this thing really going to call? Oh my god. Watch two shiny Murkra show up here. Please keep an eye on this space. As a second shiny Murkrow shows up. Just watch it. It's gonna happen. Don't make it happen. Clearly I need to buy more Ultra Balls in like all of my games. I only have one Ultra Ball left. Um, if we don't catch you here, I'm gonna have some fun choosing Pokeballs to use for this hunt. Uh, so that's interesting. I actually don't know what Pokeballs I have in this game. I hope I kinda have a Master Ball, just in case. But we're going to go through this. We have a repeat ball, quick balls, which I should have used, nest balls, moon balls, ooh, luxury balls, level balls, fast balls. They have a little bit of everything, uh, but not enough of any one thing. So I'm going to try a moon ball uh, because I think this thing would look fantastic in a moon ball. Nope. Not going to happen for me. Uh, I could false swipe it. Should I false swipe it? If I false swipe it, we run the risk of having it struggle to death. Uh, and run the risk of having it call in uh, additional additional allies. So, should I false swipe it or not? That is the question. I actually don't have a Master Ball in this game, so I think I'm going to false swipe it. Actually. This would be very funny if I end up failing this thing. Do I have a Pokemon on this team that can induce a status effect? Executor, good hypnosis, but these things have insomnia. Nothing else can do it. All right. Here goes nothing. We are, uh, we're tossing the moon balls, seeing what we got. Oh, I can't switch because it used mean look anyway. Yeah, this is the first time I've intentionally attacked the shiny. Just because I know it can't have any recoil moves. Um, but unfortunately, we do run the risk here of having it call in a bunch of allies. This is the issue, guys. This is the issue I face. It was unfortunately going to be best. I'm using non-super effective moves here to try to get as many attacks as possible. It does have insurance, uh, which is nice. My taunt wore off. It's going to call again. This is terrible. I should not. I should not have attacked this thing. This is the problem. Uh-oh. This could turn into a fail. Uh, luckily, I think Assurance has a ton of PP. Maybe it's Assurance. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong move. It's calling in a lot, guys. 
This is an issue. If I knew I had quick balls and, and you know, no ultra balls, then uh, I would have done something about this. Uh, mean look doesn't ever wear off, does it? Unfortunately, I have... Um, Unfortunately, I have pressure on this Pokemon, which is going to make the Murkrow call a heck of a lot more often. Ugh, damn it. This is going to suck. Ah, good, okay. Didn't call. I should be using the Pokeball with the best chance of capturing it, which unfortunately is going to be the Repeat Ball here. I hate Repeat Balls. I'm going to try to catch this thing in a Moon Ball. I don't care. I would rather fail this thing than catch it in a Repeat Ball. Shit, maybe I should have caught it in the repeat ball. Uh, nest ball. What does nest ball do? I would rather use the nest ball. Don't call. Do not call. Pressure reduces the PP. Crap. You're right. That's an issue. Uh-oh. What oh If I knew that, I would not have false swiped it. All right, I need this thing not to call. Uh, I usually don't fail these kind of things, guys. Uh, what is what is the boost versus a? This is actually very important right now. What is the boost versus a nest ball versus a uh, a repeat ball? I need to know this right now, guys. What is the difference in boost? It should catch sixty level difference. Okay. Level ball easier to catch if uh, easier to catch Pokemon that are a lower level than your Pokemon. All right, guys. I'm gonna check this. What is... Okay. I'm going to look up level ball real quick. I need to know. I would like to use a level ball. But I'm going to use whichever has the highest chance of catching. Level ball, nest ball. So I think level ball would actually look really cool. Um, let's see. Level ball. Uh, four times if the po player's Pokemon is double, but less than four times. It is more than double. So I have a four times catch rate with the level ball. Um, versus Love Ball. What would Love Ball do? Alright, no. We're using Level Ball. Here we go. Come on, baby. I need this to work. One shake. Two shakes. Come on. Three shakes. Let's do it. Yes! Thank God I didn't fail that. Oh, God damn. Ho, <laughs> ho, I did everything wrong on this hunt, guys. I just want you to know. Uh, or everything wrong, I should say, when catching it. Uh, uh, make sure before you go out and catch Pokemon that you have a lot of goddamn Ultra Balls. Just in case. I don't think Aromatisse would have the lowest base the, uh, speed. It's, um, it's a, it's a beautiful dancer Pokemon, you know? Dancers have to be quick and spry. Moralol does as well, damn. How is Moralol that slow? Moralol's a terrible Pokemon, too. <laughs> uh, Matisseri, it would not surprise me, honestly. It would not. They, he, he was, he was very quick on that answer. Or maybe he just knows his speed tiers really, really well. Unfortunately, Spritzy is not the answer. Why would Spritzy be slow? If Spritzy is like nice and floating. It's got wings. It can fly. Things that fly tend to fly very, very quickly. I find. You know, have you ever seen a bird? Oh, freaking finally! Speaking of birds, oh my god, guys. And it's a male, which is what we've been looking for this whole time. Guys, at almost 1,000 horn encounters in phase four, we have a shiny male Murkrow on the screen. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Murkrow is a 60% horde uh, on, this, on this route. I am using Cute Charm and Shiny Charm, and somehow it has taken me, gosh darn, almost a thousand encounters to get the Shiny Male Murkrow. Uh, phase 4 again, I got three Amoongus before this, which somehow uh, I don't believe. So, I'm just going to start Thunder Waving every Murkrow that isn't the Shiny Murkrow. God damn, guys, it's been way too long. You guys have no idea. I, I mean, it's, it's probably been almost a month since I've gotten 
a gosh darn uh, shiny that I've been hunting for. I mean, I don't think the fungus really count uh, on account of I didn't need them for the shiny form decks. This I, I need. You know, I already got the shiny female Murkrow a long time ago via SOS. Nice quick SOS as well. Uh, this took much, uh, much, much longer. Now, it, you know, you see only 39 encounters on the screen there. Prior to this uh, Murkrow and only taking 39 horde encounters, uh, my last shiny took over 500 encounters. Uh, almost double odds for that gosh darn shiny, but the Murkrow looks good, guys. It looks real good. Um, he's got a giant, nice giant hat on him, which looks really, really nice. We're almost done thunderbolting all these Murkrow here. Only two more, and I'll finally be able to catch this guy. Oh my goodness, this has been such a pain, y'all. But I'm glad it's finally over. You want to get staticked? No, it's going to haze. I don't even know what haze does, honestly. But it, all stat changes are eliminated. There are no stat changes to be had, man. Why are you eliminating my stat changes? All right, that is it. All the Murkrow have been KO'd except for the Shiny. It is time to gosh darn catch this thing. It has seriously been so long, guys. Uh, what do I have here? Oh, cool. Uh, not nearly enough Pokeballs for this. I have a shit ton of Dive Balls, though. So if one of these Ultra Balls doesn't work, maybe a Dive Ball will. Get yourself static. Static, static, static. I should go ahead and Thunder Wave this thing. Just... I, I had problems catching another Murkrow earlier. I'm not letting this guy go away. Yet again, I um, have, have made a huge mistake here. Um, and, and not bought uh, nearly enough Pokeballs. I said, oh, it's going to be okay. I'll catch this Murkrow no problem. Here I go. We'll see if I can catch him in one of the 40 Dive Balls that I have, people. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god, thank you guys for being here for this. I know it's taken a while to catch him. But, uh, you know. What are you gonna do? Murkrow, for some reason, has a really low catch rate. I can't even... This thing is, is paralyzed, and he's not even getting one shake. Uh, in any of these Pokeballs. This would be the ultimate irony, don't you think? If, um, I have all... All these horde encounters to find a shiny male Murkrow, and I can't even catch him. Don't make it. Don't make it ironic. Catch him, please. Oh my God. The ultimate irony, people. Watch me fail this Murkrow, like I almost failed the other Murkrow. I feel like I almost failed the other Murkrow worse, honestly. Luckily, Murkrow doesn't have any self-damaging moves, but I also don't really have anything that can damage this thing. I have Quick Attack on this Raichu. But that is going to be like a guaranteed one-hit KO. Uh, I have four Ultra Balls left. I'm going to have to switch to Dive Balls. I do have some Quick Balls, too. Oh, my God. This is going to be crazy. We got one shake. Two shakes. Come on. Three shakes. Let's do it. Thank God. Did not have to resort to the Dive Balls, thankfully. But uh, we did catch this Murkrow, finally. Guys, there it is on your screen. Shiny Murkrow. Male looks beautiful so so happy to finally have this thing you guys really don't know how long it's been how long i have toiled for this murkrow but it's finally done uh this line is now complete in my shiny form decks uh guys if you like this video want to see more uh please subscribe to my channel otherwise guys uh, if you're watching on youtube this is the end of the video and we are gonna see you on the next shiny